If you look at President Tinubu's administration, let's say the end of this year, early or mid next year, you begin to ask, did Buhari really do that bad? Mm. Because in terms of foreign policy, Buhari was not really leaning towards anybody, obviously. In this administration, we are seeing that there's an obvious partial move to certain places, to certain interests. Nobody has the right to say anything because they have people who are always defending. What is the U.S. interest in this? Why is the U.S. embassy going to be in the co Atlantic? Why? What's, the, what, what, what's wrong with where they are currently? Putting that embassy there means much more than what we are looking at. It's U.S. presence on your coastline. Good. That's exactly it. That is also the same axis that you have the Lekki Deep Sea Port. Oh. The same axis that you have Dangote Refinery. The same axis where you're going to have the new airport. What's it about that Lekki Corridor Dope. that is so wonderful that we need to put a highway between that point why can't you start from Ekbe? Why can't you go through Jebode and then head down? Why? Why must it be that? Oh. But because Nigerians are, we are politically and tribally divided, nobody wants to look at what the real issues are. What is United States benefiting from this now? Now, tomorrow you will hear a document was supposed to be released. Tomorrow you will not hear it again. Tomorrow you will hear this. Tomorrow, you know, the United States is bringing things in bits and pieces. It's like there are two factions within the U.S. The rumors are that there are certain big wigs in Nigeria who are strong supporters of the Democratic Party, who fund the Democratic Party from Nigeria. So if the Democrats lose, if Joe Biden loses the election, then we are going to see a total reversal, and it's not going to be good for this administration, which means it lends credence lends credence to the, the speed in which they are building this road. We have never seen an allocation of of a a highway in Nigeria, even to Jolos Bega, this fast. When was it signed? Why did it? Why did when it, did it pass the assembly? When did it pass the assembly? When did it pass? Leah Sondu, showing you where development is happening. Please come and join us. Why is U.S. building largest consulate in Nigeria? U.S. building 537 million dollars Nigerian consulate. Is it only to boost relations? Lagos Consulate will be biggest in the world when completed. The United States is building a new $537 million consulate in Nigeria's commercial hub. The 10-story building, planned for a 12-acre site in Lagos, will be the biggest American consulate in the world when it is completed in 2027, Mary Leonard, the U.S. ambassador to Nigeria, said at a groundbreaking ceremony. It is intended to strengthen collaboration between the U.S. and Africa's most populous country in areas including music, arts, technology and entrepreneurship, she said. The U.S. is Nigeria's third biggest trading partner, after China and India, with $5.4 billion in total trade in 2020. The new consulate will be the anchor tenant of the multi-billion dollar Echo Atlantic development in Lagos, a 10 square kilometer. 3.8 square mile piece of reclaimed oceanfront land designed to be a self-sufficient and sustainable commercial and residential district. The contract for the design and building was awarded to Pernix Federal, LLC of Lombard, Illinois, the consulate said in a statement. Why we are building largest consulate in the world at Echo Atlantic City, US government. The government said the new consulate will provide a modern space for the largest consular operation in Africa. The United States government says it is committed to strengthening the enduring US-Nigeria relationship, investing in the partnership for the benefit of our two nations. At a historic groundbreaking ceremony highlighting the enduring bilateral friendship and partnership between the country and Nigeria, Governor Babajide Sanwo Olu of Lagos State joined U.S. Ambassador Mary Beth Leonard and U.S. Consul General Claire Pierangelo to mark the beginning of construction of a new U.S. Consulate General in Lagos. On a 12.2-acre site in the rapidly developing Echo Atlantic City, the new U.S. Consulate General in Lagos will support diplomatic and commercial relations between the United States and Nigeria and will provide American and Nigerian consulate employees with a safe, sustainable, and modern workplace. The $537 million new consulate construction project will directly benefit the Nigerian people, according to a statement by the U.S. Consulate. 